Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jordan Crook with TechCrunch, and today we are at the AT&T Labs in downtown Manhattan. And basically what's happening is there are a bunch of researchers here who are using AT&T's APIs to build cool new products. Uh, there's a huge focus on innovation, so what we're going to do is we're going to look around and see what's cool, and we're going to bring it back to you. All right, guys, so we're here at Got My Stuff, and I have the developer, Don Henderson, with me. So why don't you tell us what this is all about? Okay, Got My Stuff is a system that's using RFID technology to help people keep track of the items they care about. And that is, this system we built uh, is installed in a vehicle, and, and it allows us, when we turn the key on in the vehicle, the system scans the area and scans all the items you have and lets you know if you have the things that you want to have with you at that time. For example, your license or your wallet, you know. Or in, in, the case of, in the case of the system here, we can set up groups and these, you see choir rehearsal, go to work. For example, my go to work group will have things like my briefcase bag. These are the items I need to work with. All right, before I hit the highway, I need to have these things, okay? And again, it's using RFID technology, so a reader and antennas and, and, and equipment gets installed in the vehicle that allows us to detect these items, detect the tags on the items. So you said that it could either be um, pre-installed in your vehicle, maybe by a luxury brand, or it might be an after after purchase type thing that you can install, correct? It could, it could be. That's that's sort of the thinking right now, right now. But but probably probably more more OEM type of type of deal. OEM type of deal. All right. Well, Don, thank you very much. That was really cool. Thank you. All right. Moving on. I'm with Brian Amento, who's a developer, and I, I'm not even going to try to explain what it is exactly. I'm just going to let him him tell you what's up. Okay. So uh, what we're doing is a uh, bioacoustic data transfer, and this is based on work from about 10 years ago where we were sensing uh, soft fingertip gestures. So when I tap my fingers or I rub my fingers, it produces a sound that uh, the vibrations are sent through my bones. So if I put a contact microphone on my styli bones, like in a watch, I can actually sense those vibrations. And we were about 90 to 95 percent accurate on that. So we realized that not only could we sense vibrations with contact microphones, we can also produce vibrations. So if I produce vibrations and send them through my body, I can do things like unlock this door. So if I, uh, for, the, for this prototype, I've got a little application that's going to send different keys. So if I say that I'm the owner, I can now touch uh, the one contact mic, which would normally be in my pocket or connected to me on a watch. And when I touch the door, it's going to sense that, okay, that was the owner of the house. It says, welcome home. And it's unlocked the door so that I can now get in. If I change this uh, signal to now send the signal of a friend, when I touch the door, it's going to notice, okay, uh, Alicia is at the door. It'll turn the glass transparent, and then it'll unlock the door after I verify that it is actually Alicia that's at the door. So one, one area that we'd like to go with this is to send contact information. So when I shake someone's hand, I'll be able to send the contact information and, and a phone number, a name, and maybe even a small picture from my phone to their phone without removing the phones, just through the vibrations and, and the physical touch. So if you're at a, a conference and, and you run into 20 people, you'd have a, a log at the end of the day of who you talk to. It's very awesome. So are we going to see this anytime soon? Uh, this is in prototype stage right now, so I, I don't know that uh, we're ready for that. I think we need a lot more testing. So. Well, good work, Brian. Really okay. cool. Thanks. Thanks All right, let's move on. So we moved uh, from the upstairs labs downstairs. I'm here with Mason Gilbert for AT&T. And um, basically, this is a Porsche-connected car. QNX, Panasonic, and AT&T have come together to uh, really build the car of the future. So Mason, why don't you tell us exactly what's happening here? Yes, yeah, so we collaborated with QNX and Panasonic to be able to rethink of what the car of the future is. Our involvement with, uh, uh, with Panasonic and QNX is to provide, obviously, the connectivity with our cloud network and also to provide the Watson, AT&T Watson speech API that we were just talking about upstairs. And so what we've done in here is that trying to create this concept of a virtual assistant. The whole idea is that you should be able to get into the car and this AT&T virtual assistant should know all about you and be able to communicate with you in speech, using basically speech. So what we're going to show you in a minute is that this virtual assistant sitting in the cloud and you'll be able basically to instruct and talk to this virtual assistant whether you want to play a movie or whether you want to basically play a song or just access social media. That's the basic idea of this concept. All right, sounds really cool. So we have Derek Kuhn here who is going to basically show us uh, what's up. So let's take a look. All right, so we're in the car now and we're going to showcase just how the AT&T virtual assistant and the watch and speech engine is completely integrated with the car. I'm going to ask the car to find me a Starbucks. Find me a Starbucks. Oh, 
the car reached out to the cloud, it found the closest Starbucks, it shares that information directly with the navigation system that's in the car, and we end up with a list of Starbucks that are close by and the map of where we are, and we can choose which one, and automatically that will take us to the nearest Starbucks, and it also shares that information directly with the instrument cluster as well. Awesome, well really cool, Derek. Thanks for showing this. No, my pleasure, thanks for coming out.